So today's video on uh, MySQL is all about subqueries. This is how you can embed one query inside of another. So inside your where filter clause, you can put another query. So let's take a look at that. Before we start, if you haven't been following along with the series so far, if you want to start off with the same tables and data that I'm using here, um, this is the link right here. I will put a link to this page. You can download the zip. Inside of it will be the SQL file. And then inside PHP by admin, if you create a database called movies, you can go to the import tab, choose the SQL file that you downloaded and click go to import that file. Then you will have these two tables, genres and movies. All right, so I'm going to jump to the movies table here and show you how to do a subquery. Okay, we're saying select everything from the table movies. That's where we're starting from. Now, I want to limit this somehow. Well, when you want to limit something, use a where clause and where genre ID equals. Now, if I have a single value, let's say I wanted to get just the number one, I could do that. Or we could filter by year or by director, whatever. And let's say I'm looking for anything done in the year 1999. Okay, this is going to give me one value. But what if I wanted to do two years? Well, I can do this or year equals 1997 or year equals 1986 and so on. But this gets to be very long, very fast. What if I just wanted to provide a list of the values? That's where subqueries come in. So I'm going to say where year in the set, of set then with a set of parentheses inside of here, I can give a list of values. So I could say, okay, well, what about 1986, 1997, 1999, and 2009? Those are the years that I want to get. So with in, I can create this subquery. There we go. Now it is limited to those years. Okay, great. Simple enough. Within, we can provide a list of values. Whether it's strings, dates, numbers, it doesn't matter. This is just a list of values. With numbers and years, we're going to be providing just the number itself. If you're using strings or dates, you need to put double quotes around the values. Okay. Now, what about the genre ID? Let's go back to that. Now, I could say where it's in these values. Run it. It's going to give me everything that I've got in this list because I've only got genre one and two defined right now. But it's hard to remember what these numbers are. Or if you don't know what those numbers represent, it's a little bit more challenging to get the right result. So what I want to really do is back over in my genres table, we look at that. Okay, I can remember these terms. Family, romance, horror, drama, comedy, action, sci-fi, fantasy. Those words I can remember, those make sense to me, as opposed to remembering what the numbers are for those ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and, sorry, just go back to here for one sec. Genre ID and genre title. Those are the two columns that we have inside of here. Now let's go back over to the movies table where we were running our query before. And I'm saying select everything from movies where genre ID in, we'll do the same as before. Now inside of here, inside the parentheses, my subquery, I'm actually going to write another SQL statement, another select statement. So I'm going to say in select genre title, oh, sorry, genre ID from genres. This is going to find everything that's in there right now. I can start with that. So I'm actually doing another SQL query. Now, important to note here, whatever the data type is here has to match the data type over here. So there has to be some sort of match. And I can only select one thing. I can't do a whole bunch of things to match individually. So I couldn't have a bunch of things matching a bunch of things. It's got to be one to one here. So my genre ID in I'm selecting genre ID from genres. This is going to give me all of them. So the numbers one through eight, I think it was, or nine. If I run that, okay, I've got everything here. So all my genre one and twos, everything came up. If I come back in here, I can save from genres and I can add a where clause in here as well to see where genre title 
equals, oops, sorry, double quotes, fantasy, like that. So I don't need to know what the number is. I don't need to know what the numbers are here. All I know is I want to get all the fantasy movies from here. So I'm going to select the genre ID from that genres table where the title is fantasy. So whatever that number is, that's going to become my filter value for this query. And if we run it, sure enough. So Labyrinth, Highlander, Hobbit, Dark Crystal, those are all fantasy movies. Great. Now, again, if you want to do multiple ones, we could put another subquery in here and we can say in fantasy and horror, sci-fi, whatever ones that you wanted to list off like that. So I'm doing a subquery inside of a subquery. And then we'll need a closing parentheses for this one right here. Okay, number one and number two. And if there were any for the horror, those would show up as well. But that's it. That is a subquery. It's when you're putting one query inside of your larger query as part of the filter for your where clause. So this is going to get me a series of numbers that are genre IDs and wherever they match the genre ID from my movies table, that's where I'm going to get the results. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Uh, I will leave the link to that SQL file in the description for you. And as always, thanks for watching.